Behold my radiance. Welcome to the newest patch for Monday Night Combat. This is a quick gameplay that I was actually commenting on earlier to myself that whenever I record games I seem to always win lately. It's not intentional. I, I usually just go in, I play a game, record it, and then whatever happens I bring it up. I uh, also try and make a point of something. I don't have a lot of time to be picky right now with my game, so I just go in, record a game, and then comment over that. So, just a weird coincidence. I don't know. I'm starting to think I should start recording all my games. And just have a perfect record. But anyhow, this is a uh, this is the newest patch. It's a smaller patch compared to the last one. There is not a lot of balance changes. I think, as a matter of fact, I don't think there's any except for the uh, there's a few bug fixes. Uh, notably for Leo, he did not get any sort of major changes except for the fact that his Mona laser will. Uh, how it works is it's like a, a prism, a like with a prism, as one person uh, compared on the forums. Basically, you what you do is you hit a bot or a, tar a target with it and it will then split off and hit targets behind that original target. The problem with uh, Leo was it was doing that just fine, but he was not getting any of his charge for his alt fire off the splash damage or the secondary damage uh, after hitting the primary target. So that caused um, a radical, uh, very radical um, reduction in his gain for his healing. So I guess they're going to see how he works now with that bug fixed and then I guess balance it based on that. I will give him a try later on uh, today, probably. I'm not sure if I'll video one or anything, but I will give it a shot. Uh, a few other bugs are fixed with his uh, adoration of the AI ability where he takes over bots. There were some issues with that. I'm not going to go into them specifically because it's not very interesting, but uh, bug fixes have been done there. Other major change was the. Um, my thing in here. Rolling, I think now, no longer collides on allied team members, I believe. Which, collision with teammates has been annoying when you're trying to get away and you end up dying because you run into somebody. I'm not sure exactly what the collision would, I didn't read the patch notes very closely, but it has been some sort of fix with colliding with uh, while you're doing a lunge. The other change I'm putting off is the big one. It is the nerf to uh, kill bonuses. As the game works right now, you kill somebody, you get money, uh, based on a variety of factors. However, if you kill them in a certain way, beyond just, you know, you hit them with a weapon and they die because they have zero life, you get bonus money. A good example is a grapple kill. If you kill someone with a grapple, you get 50 extra dollars, on top of what you would get for the kill itself. Then there is, like, uh, headshot kills, or uh, the gunner can do pancakes where he kills someone with his, uh... But stomp ability, I, I'm not sure what it's called, I don't play Gunner. And also kills for getting kill streaks, the bigger kill streaks without dying, the more money you get. This has been nerfed uh, and nerfed drastically. It is now like $10 for a grapple kill. It is, they, I think they halved the kill streak awards at each level. And they, the reason they did this is because they, they want to sort of, uh, the game's kind of, uh, obviously being a, being a, uh, I guess you want to call it a MOBA game, obviously there is a snowball effect in play, the point of the game is to get high enough levels so that you can easily push forward your enemy's base without a lot of opposition, whereas previously, even even for a MOBA game as it is, it is pretty snowball-y, once you start winning you win pretty hard, if you use your money correctly and levels correctly, uh, it's very easy to head very uh, fast. So what they have done is they have they're starting to tweak elements of that. Uh, games will still you'll still get advantages because you kill people and kill and you're, you're by killing people they are respawning. They can't kill bots. You can kill bots. You get money by killing them. So snowball is going to be very inherent in the game as long as there's a level system. But it will be uh, less less so now. I will say that the, the sort of comeback elements are still not uh, prevalent in the game, or they're still they are still prevalent. Man, I got that backwards. They're still there. Uh, the example of that is uh, breaking a kill streak gives the same amount of money. A comeback kill where you get you know uh, you get a kill after dying three times by getting a kill. That's still in. That's I believe it's still unaffected. 
it seems like everything is still pretty much uh, untouched for comeback. I think Nemesis kills might have been uh, nerfed a little. I forget if that's, that's for becoming a Nemesis or for killing a Nemesis. I forget which. But if you want to make games uh, interesting, you have to you have to allow for comebacks. You can't make the game so punishing that the first mistake the team other team makes, it, it costs in the game. You kind of have to give them the opportunity to make comebacks and, you know, allow the game to sort of play out itself. That's even more than just, you know, whoever dies first loses the uh, game for their team, so... Otherwise, the game's not very interesting from a, uh, I know people don't like to use the phrase eSport, but one of the things that made these games popular is the fact that they are... That they do get, you know, a lot of money from tournaments and all that, so... You do have to, you do have to keep that in mind. Uh, it's more than just the players, it's also the spectators. The game is not interesting, it's not a whole lot of cool comebacks, and the game comes, uh, you get less invested in it. And, of course, for the, uh... For this patch, the huge change is of course the addition of Wascott's new skin uh, called Man Baby. I am wearing it. I bought it like the second I got into the game. It is a fantastic skin. It includes a new weapon, the Rattle, which I am showing off right here. And it is just all around a great skin. A lot of nice... Uh, it's like $15. It's uh, not cheap, but I had to have it. It's just, it's just a beautiful... Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. With, look at that, even the bear gets a little bib on him too. I mean, the thought that goes into that is just incredible. But that's really it for the patch. It's a uh, once again, it's those changes that it, there is a uh, we have really big change of momentum with the new uh, changes of streaks and all that. But it's just not a lot to talk about per se. Sort of a let's see how this plays out. I know there's been some talk about the streaks. I kind of like the streaks being uh, reduced. I would have preferred that the bot streaks get nerfed first. To make it a little more focused on killing players, but as is, it's you know it's okay. And as for this game itself, uh, it's actually kind of a joke game where we all you have those games where you're not really paying attention. I really don't lock early. I don't like keep my character unlocked until the last second. Um, besides for very silly reasons of not showing your pro to the enemy team, it also means I can be flexible in who I pick. Because I you know my team size picks one different. I don't like playing other pros besides commandos, but I will if I have to. I am prepared to make the sacrifice for my team. However, uh, today I was stubborn. I saw uh, one of our teammates lock spark. I'm like, you know what? I'll do double commando. That's not a. That will not get you devastated in this game. Doing double commando. I had no point did I realize that as so that they. Uh, that they seriously had someone else picked assassin. I have no idea when it happened. I was not. I just. I really wanted to, you know, show off my beautiful new skin. And actually, the way it turned out, we got. I, I actually was surprised that we had uh, a healer in this case. We uh, the first couple of minutes of the game, I thought we had no healer either. So I thought we were just pretty much screwed from the get go. Um, a spoiler: This is a game we do not win. It's not exactly easy to win with. Uh, with th triple uh, commando, so just a little spoiler. There's one of the few games that I so I had to record it because come on, a game we actually lose. And we're also playing against, um, I believe, a duo or if they're not a duo, it's a huge coincidence. But uh, some team creepy people who are definitely quite good at what they do, which doesn't make things uh, doesn't make things any better. But it's sort of a silly game at this point. At some point, uh, the other team is a little careless, or they just well, I guess they don't care, so our money ball goes down. They start getting a little, they over push, and we manage to, uh, we do manage to push them back a little bit. Even get a, uh, even actually get the annihilator at one point, but it is not enough. Um, I mean, commandos. We were actually doing pretty good very, very early in the game with getting first blood and all that, but um, commandos after that they start to go. Commandos are a class where they get worse as the game goes on. This you really can't sneak in anywhere. Uh, the shish kebab not a lot of places to go, but... Can you put on a stick? Why not shish but, you know. I thought it was a funny game. I, it, it tickled me in ways I have not been tickled in a while, so... I put one to post it. Also, it was a very short game. It's like 10 minutes long, so... I decided, why not? 
The patch is pretty short, so let's get a short game to go with it. And like I said, this game has about uh, two minutes left, so we're gonna get Nyler up here. Um, I am not one generally give up on games. I will always keep playing till the end. Um, I don't see reason not to, unless it's like really long. It's very obvious we're gonna lose, and um, at that point you can be you can be polite, I guess. It's kind of hard as one player to make the game last that much longer. But I rarely find myself in a situation where I have to. Or have to um, stop playing or quit or beat or things like that. So yeah, yeah. They got at this point they have jackpots going on because they had our ball down for a while. Our ball goes up here soon. We get to do the annihilator, but it's not going to help us too much in the end because, like I said, as the game goes on, commandos get a lot weaker. They're not. It's not to say they're useless, but. And knocked over there by a bouncer. I hate bouncers so much. They hate me. I hate them. But anyway, yeah. Command is just, just don't, you know, compared to like an enforcer, especially when we're, you know, under leveled as it is, I think we caught up a, a little bit here with their team. Yeah, I'm even with their uh, veteran now, so we did catch up a little bit. Let's go try to kill that, uh. Let's go try to kill that dang, uh, veteran, but there was a scrambler. He stopped me. There's a veteran again. I'm just being really, really oblivious now. And I have to say here, I cannot grab that assassin at all. My grab game just not up. So you're watching the game now. I wish there was more to say about this. It's, I really can't say anything you know, like tactical here. Uh, besides, don't pick three commandos. Might be, a, might be a you know a little pro tip there. Truth be told. I just wanted to uh, record this game, make this to make this uh, little joke right here. This is this is why I this is why I record this game because I finally got to say make this joke. There we go. Yes, I went there. It is brilliant. I'm just uh, happy with it. Oh yeah, free Wascot skin. Comment in this thread or this post or video, whatever. I'll see you next time.